We're alive. It looks like this a little tall, huh? Maybe a little bit lower, a little bit tiny bit higher. There we go. They just clicked. Well, yeah. John Combs is here. His O stuck. And Phil Pars Presnell. Good evening. A couple people so far. Happy Sunday, guys. Sunday, Sunday. Ooh. Give a few minutes to see if some people show up. As you can probably see this little ear right here, this little face. That's because there's treats right over here. One ear. <laughs> That's right. There's treats right here on the shelf. <laughs> Dougie D made it. Check it out. Dougie D, long time no talk to you, Doug. Waiting for you. <sighs> Nobody waits for us. Harry Birds. Yee. Hello. Yeah, we're we're getting like weeks we're away from you, seeing Doug. him, huh? Not months, weeks now. Seeing John? We're going to see John? If John's name is Terry Burns. John keep doesn't trying, live John. in John doesn't live trying. in Kentucky. Mark. Oh, Steve. Hey Mark. Here we go. Hey Barry. Barry Pierce, wow, we haven't seen you in a while. Hey, How are you doing, Barry? Little Jason. cat. All right. Two eggs. Wow. All familiar fa names tonight. Fa Anybody new here, put your name on there. Say hi. Hey, Glenn Graham. Welcome. Hello. It's been a really nice day today in Arkansas. Beautiful. You have to stay here for a minute. The people are saying hi. You have to say hi. Hi. This is his attention. <laughs> Not that I have to. I have to, like, entice him to sit here it's with like me. The equivalent of having to tie a pork chop around Bill's neck so the dog stays with him. Yeah. Right? <laughs> If he was an alligator, be a chicken around my neck. He's a good boy. Be a good boy. Yeah, he's uh, a good boy. Ronald Silva's here. Hey, All Ronald right. Silva. Hey, Ron Daryl. Ron Daryl. Yep, there's your bed. Man, I have not been able to get with you this week. Because he's too sleepy. Either he, either he's on when I'm asleep, or we've been busy this week though huh yeah we've actually had a really busy week this week so for us <laughs> it's probably gonna be another busy week we've got people coming to visit so rosebud's here hey, Rosebud. hello rosebud Welcome. yep katie's here hi so i got this bug thing for him flea and tick thing you can see that can you it's a big old boot or a thing big black thing on his collar Right there. Mount Laurel's here. Hey, Mount Laurel. It has essential oils. It's called Fur Life. I got it off Amazon. It's cheaper than the pills that you give him. The little chewy things. So far, it seems to the be The Tigner Adventures are here. Hey, Tigners. Welcome. Hope travels are going well. Anyway, this thing was it's not very big. It was $35. A boy did it stink it for did. about a week. It <laughs> <laughs> we had to take it. I took it off and put it out in between our outside screens and our window at night. Good boy. Hot today. Yeah, it was pretty warm. And Charlie, Charlie and Diane and are Diane. here. Hi, guys. <coughs> they said hi to you too, Katie. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> he says, I'm just sitting here being nice because I have to know I got one more treat sitting over there. Anyways, the if you guys still. were wondering, and you've seen that thing on Facebook. We're happy with it so far. It's only been a couple weeks, but. Well, neither one of us has got a tick on our back yet. Right. That's, that's, so far, that's how happy. we know. <laughs> that's how we know. So. 
Yeah, it is just essential oils, and it's not the ones that can make your dog sick. So, And it's better than feeding him those pills, which yeah. I really like. And it's half as expensive, and it lasts. A those year, pills right? only last three months, and they're $70 a piece. This lasts a year. You well, it looks also, like a little piece of Play-Doh. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It's and, like a, and he thinks he's all right. I love yeah, going to the doctor. I get them. a treat. But these little things, you can get them either in a collar or a little thing that slips on their existing collar. Hey, Rocky, you want a treat? <laughs> Rocky, here's a treat for you, buddy. Here. Come here, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ron. He's being attacked. Mark Liza Jane's got, here. Mark Hi, Liza Jane. Hey, Liza Jane. Welcome. Mark said I got the 86 there. What? Oh, hello, dog. <laughs> Mark. Yeah. I got the 86. Yeah, I believe. yeah, it was uh, almost 80 here today. So, Tigner's House Branson. You having, you having fun, I hope. We all look fantastic. You need to clean your screen. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm in my 12th year of a 10 day beauty plan. Hey, Dan. Welcome. Dan. That's brave. Hot here, too. But not all the grass mowed home in Campo. Oh, oh, you've got all the and grass Mary mowed. Devers here. They were hey, just Mary and Randy. They were hey, just Patty. here yesterday to visit us. Yep. Unlike John Combs and Patty Combs. You don't visit them either. They haven't visited us. They have nowhere to stay. They could stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's not funny. No. So I was thinking maybe tonight we might get a little more in depth if people are interested in Rife, Spooky Q, because we've been we've been busy doing that too. Got hair in his eye. Oh no. Ah. Want me to get my razor? Give me a tissue. Poor body. I got it. It was one of his own hairs, but yeah, like right on his pupil. Next week, pushing into the middle 90s here in Arizona. Yeah, Ew. that's why we're not there. <laughs> Branson is like Vegas, but family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, it's expensive Very there, though. Very pricey, yeah. Very ex well, at least when we went there, it was like I think it was like 40 bucks a head to get in the uh, Titanic thing. and. The shows were so expensive, but a lot of the a lot of the shows are gone now. Of course, uh, oh. a lot of people passed Mary away. Mary says their internet's giving them problems. Bummer. Um, Mountain Laurel, are you buffering? <laughs> and March probably starting March over. starting over. <laughs> 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 Where did you get the flea and tick thing on Cage's collar? So I got that off of Facebook. There was a um, an ad for it, and it's called Fur Life. It's all one word: F U R L I F E. I imagine I think you can go there to dot com and find it. Furlife dot com. See this big black thing right here. Big. It's pretty. It's actually kind of big. It but. kind of is, but he's. He sports it well. But I've I've got it where it's it's on his usually on his back there yeah. and his his uh tags, his tags are up front. Keep it. He doesn't like it. Watch this, watch. You take that collar off, he's he feels naked and he gets see, he does that? not like it. Where's the little clippy deal? Um Dad, I have no shirt on. I'm on TV. I'm naked. <laughs> YouTube's gonna Catch us. <laughs> we haven't said any really bad words let yet. <laughs> Rosebud says hi, KG. Hey, Jane Bray. Welcome. Timeshare sales are big here. Really? I didn't know that about Branson. Well, that used to be a lot of campgrounds here. That's used to be hotels and campgrounds and that's what it was all about but they're kind of changing it up because they 
I think the tourism thing is kind of, yeah. like I say, I don't, there used to be a Dolly Parton show and there used to be a, what was a, Andy Williams had a show there and that one family, big family of people had show. There was a lot of different show things. And then, offices everywhere, even at Walmart. Yeah. Okay. I know you're not going to work because there's still one left. Huh? And yes, we are getting rain next week. Yeah. Bummer. Had to bump the furnace on two nights ago, and then today it was 81, Terry said. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's not too cold when we get there. <laughs> I don't think it will be. Rocky Run, when I get the call. <laughs> we did also get him a harness, which makes walk so much better. If we, if, see, I just barely touch that thing. And look, there he is. It's like you are getting sleepy. <laughs> Very sleepy. Mom, make him put is that back yours? on me. Is this yours? Do you want this on? See, he, does, he doesn't hassle at all. Some dogs, Oh. They, when you take them off, they're all happy they're gone. But. Mark says the Dolly Parton Christmas show is awesome. I bet it was. Well, is, is she still there? Kabuki Theater. Well, I don't think she does a show all the time, but she has uh, no, probably different not. people there. 62 so. and freezing here in Vegas, Doug. They actually had the Roy Rogers Museum there. That used to be by our house in the high desert. Jane, you need more garlic. She's sick as a dog. Who is? Jane Bray. We have garlic. <laughs> Uh, Tigner says they'll give you tickets for shows if you go to a meeting about timeshares. Right. I think everybody out here needs to get a Spooky 2 rifle machine. Because then, like last night, I had a runny nose. I told her, I said, my nose won't quit runny. And about 15 minutes later, she goes, is your nose know. still running? I said, no. She goes, oh, I put a frequency out for you. I need garlic, yeah, but I need it like a lasagna, not like. <laughs> I told Jane she needs garlic. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna excuse. Are you ready to go? Okay, you're excused. Mark's gonna get the Gen X Pro. Awesome. Is that the the? Mark wants to see. That's what we got. The two, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Pollen count is high. That's true. I'm back in Empress, Alberta. Jane says. I'm really glad you're sick, though. Mary says it was great meeting your friends, Jason and Amanda. Yeah, they're on here. They're pretty cool. Mellow Cat and Two, two eggs. eggs. We had a nice visit. Checking to make sure we nice, don't have any more treats over here. And a nice ride around town. They let us bore them with all the pretty here. <laughs> That's what we did. We took the Tigners on a torture ride. Yeah. And <laughs> I just like to drive my car. <laughs> we took a drive today. We took a 80 mile round trip to, to go eat lunch or dinner. Um, Early dinner or late lunch. If, if you guys do have any questions about rice, I'm always available. I can, I can answer anything or tell you where to find the right answer. Yeah. I was talking to a friend today and he's had some medical issues and I kind of do things were up and I, talk to him we were just texting and i i texted him about spooky two right machine and and i sent him a video just a, a basic health maintenance one and i guess he 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 listened to that and then he said i'm gonna look into this further so it must have did something for him you know um you right now if you want to just free doesn't cost you anything you just want to test and see if it will help you out. You could go on to YouTube and type in Spooky Two and put in, you know, uh, I have a, I have chest pains or hard time breathing or my I have the what is that stuff in the ears or tinnitus or tinnitus or I have a big wart with a hair on the end of my nose. You could just type that in. And, nose is gone. Yeah, see, I I got rid of it. <laughs> And what happens, I still got the hair of the ears, though. I can't seem to get that. But anyway, you can type that in. What what will happen is, is you, 
you will get the it will give you different frequencies and you could just take your phone and click on it and just set it right here on your chest that's how i found out with the neuropathy that it worked is i tried that and as soon as i tried it i mean i was able to walk i was able to get up and actually like go outside and walk around up to that point we get zero for telling you guys about yeah. this we just really believe in the it. reason why i say you're going to get it for free is because if you decide that you want to do it where it's quantum entanglement which that's what we have so 24 hours a day seven days a week we are constantly being treated Even for our, our things maintained and everything else no matter where we're at but you can get it on youtube you can get it on YouTube, but you like I say, you gotta set your phone. See, yeah. this is my new phone. You can just set it right here on your on your chest, and and you'll you'll actually hear the frequency. With um, with what we have, you don't. With the machine, you don't you don't even know. But I can tell when she's swapping things. She her desk is over there. We have two machines, and we have the really nice one, which they run about a thousand bucks. Right. But yeah, but they've got their anniversary sale going right now. So shipping is expensive because it comes from overseas. But once yeah. you've got it, you've got it. You, know? so you can't physically buy it in the United States. You purchase it overseas. Okay. And then we got the cheaper one, which is a single channel. It's a single uh, generator. Yeah. And we're using that to yeah. add some flies. We're trying flies in there now, yeah. too. Because every once in a while, we'll get a couple flies in here. And it, it's season. supposed to just kind of shoo them away. The ants have been dying. Yeah. So, I don't know why my nose is plugging up right now. But it's been good all day, huh? No, Laura says, yeah. But it's also getting a night, night-ish time. A little bit of buffering. No, Laurel says. Um, else something. Are you getting a little bit of buffering, Ron? Or you're me too of what? So Phil wants to know what does our doctor say about this. So we've been to a chiropractor for me in December and told him about it, and he knew about it. And then we told our MD, and we got it. She has to be kind of careful about it because they're. But she was super intrigued. She was intrigued about it. Yeah, <laughs> she she's said heard she of it. She was going to look into it further. Um, just she she was just very fascinated by it and could see why it would work. <laughs> so they're not they're not like naysayers you know but the chiropractor specifically he said that some of his friends even treat his patients with frequency so that was good and it's uh most of you guys on here know but what we use for dna is our our fingernails and like darla when she wants to kill off these ants she asked, and she's getting, it's getting harder to find them. She just crawled around like, on her hands and knees. And, and uh, we've had a problem in the morning in the motor home. We have a spot, and it's like next to our our counter, our sink counter in the bathroom. And you lift up this little thing, and there's like a pile of dirt in there. And what it is, is she took a picture of it and, and Googled it or something, and it said that, I used the, it's, the Google Lens to find out what it was. It's done by ants. It they, was like a deposit of, I don't even know what. It was dirt, yeah. It was dirt, yeah. And, and it was kind of like like being muddy. And now it's yeah. all it's all dried out and shrinking up. And I'm going to go in there anymore. and kind of tap it with a hammer and suck it. It's yeah. not very big. It's maybe about that big around. But the first time I saw it, I went, uh-oh. Well, I thought. Because I, 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 I was I putting no traps in there. Was. To get rid of the ants. So May on the Rods here. Hello. Hey, May May. So, um, no buffering or for Ron. You and Jason do good. So anyway, yeah, it was uh it's it's been really good and I mean Darla asks me all the time, do uh, you have a problem? I've been having problems with this arm, just kind of being sore and We've been still trying to find the right one. Exactly, I think it's because of the way I sleep. So, Phil, it is not FDA approved in the states. And if you really dig any deeper, you're going to find out that 
say what you want about the medical. I, I'm not a fan. And anytime they can't make money on it. Well, yeah, and, and the FDA, <laughs> the FDA is against DMSO. Right. <laughs> they're, they're against so many things. Anything. Anything that doesn't involve them making money, they don't like. So that's kind of where that's at. So it used to be a long time ago because this is from the this this stuff is from the 1920s is when it started. Well, 30s I think is when Raymond Royal Rife discovered well, not discovered it, but well, yeah, he discovered it. He didn't invent it because frequency. He's are a around founder. Time. He found it. Okay. Go another rabbit hole. Those words. <laughs> If you take if you take the words that they say, founders, you know they found this. Well, they did. They found it. They found all these buildings. They found all this stuff. They didn't do anything. They to, to create it. They found it. It's exactly right. Too many lies. Um, Don't listen to lies. Anyway, it, it, yeah. If they can't make money on it, then then they're they're shutting you down. It's I've done a lot of research on it, and it's just been. It's sad because they they put lawsuits and everything against Raymond Royal Rice, the guy that discovered it. Yeah, he d destroyed his lab, destroyed his house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, the guy virtually died in the 70s, uh, a, just a destroyed man. But he had put his stuff out there, moved it around, and he said that when he died, that these people should come together and and, re they, and bring it back up, and they, they have. The machines are manufactured in China, and they're shipped over here. Um, but the guy uh, that is heading the company, Spooky2, I think he's from Australia. I have, I have to look that up. I said this last week, too. But um, Colgate. he's married to um, a Chinese citizen, too. So, But anyway, they live over there. It's Everybody has them over there. It's okay over there, I guess. And yeah, I don't know. But anyway. We are human guinea pigs. Hey, Colgate, welcome. And you are so right. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. always laugh because Bill, this is one of the things I, I'm sure you probably heard say that, you know, doctors have a practice. Yeah, they practice. They practice. <laughs> you know, when, when you're a mechanic, you can't practice. If you practice and you mess up, they're all over you. If, if a doctor is practicing and it screws up, they, they get to practice on you more. Or they make more one. money. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, how many times has somebody gone in to have a kidney removed? Well, things just, they, they, they get the wrong one. They take the good one out and they leave you with the bad one. You just Jay never says, know. Oh, I love rabbit holes. Real lives. Real lives. There's Maggie Van Mike. Realize. The the He's a bachelor right now, I think, still. Oh, hey, Mike. Is it that time already? Yep. Yeah. Gonna do what's best for you. Uh, absolutely. Did you see what Jane said though? What? The word realize. It's really real. Yeah, realize. Yeah. <laughs> and like his story, it's his story, is what it is. His, his story. story. So story yeah, we get a lot of we. There's a lot of. Uh, there's just a lot of words. There's a, I I, t I told you guys about my lunch break and it he's really not uh i don't know he's not like some guy that drags you down these rabbit holes and stuff but he will make you think about things he'll he but talks he just, about buildings is what he does all he does is lay out facts yeah that, that the world has stated are true and then you get to decide based off of other facts <laughs> right i mean anyway. it it's it's just so screwy the way things are. Right. Mute. <laughs> yeah, after my CT scan showed a a lesion on my kidney, the doctor wanted to do further tests by doing an ultrasound on my liver instead of the kidney. Duh. Well, you, that's something. The huh? thing is, is doctors make a lot of money off of things like test chemotherapy medications when you go to the doctor and the doctor says i need to put you on insulin 
Well, that doctor is going to get paid on insulin as long as you're taking it. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. That's but, their prescription. When That's we came their, back to Arkansas, it's their copyright. I needed to get Bill hooked up with a cardiovascular doctor because he was on blood thinners from, if you guys have been around any length of time, you know he had a 10-inch blood clot in his leg. Um, it was scary, very scary. Anyway, he was really sick. But anyway, when we came back here, that all happened in Quartzsite, Arizona. So we were going to... Happened in Texas, did it? Well, yeah, but All I'm that saying the doctors. Happened. But anyway, it, Doug actually, Gee, Texas up with his doctor and then New Mexico and then was in Nevada. And we, you know, every year when we go to Quartzsite, we would do our yearly physicals with that doctor who was really good. We liked him. But also, we were established in Lake Havasu City with the guy that did the surgery on, he was cardiovascular doctor. But when we weren't, you know, we, we needed to establish a doctor here in Arkansas. So we did. And the guy, it took me three months to get an appointment with him. And we waited three hours in the waiting room to be seen by him. And when he came in, he had Bill's chart and he's looking through it. I barely looked at him and said, hello. Did not look at him, look at him physically. And he goes, so. Okay. Prepare me for surgery to yeah, have the blood clot removed. <laughs> See the receptionist at the front and we'll schedule you for a surgery to remove that blood clot. And we looked at each other like, what? <laughs> I would have been dead by now, buddy. Look at his chart. I said, that, that's been removed. We just need to establish care with you. See if we can get him off of, um, what's that? Stuff, so what there. we did, Jason, we that? went mute. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got rid of that yeah, guy. So that's that's how I feel about doctors. We do have a good one now. I mean, she's just a regular. She's actually a PA, but she's great. Yeah, and, and I don't know if we should Here say this stuff. kind of stuff, but we I was on the on the uh, blood thinners. And we found out that cayenne pepper, she did yeah. research, used diac, uh, cayenne pressure. Pepper. pepper. Anyway, this you need, a, you need to find a frequency for me being talk. a dummy. <laughs> anyway, so I started taking <laughs> cayenne pepper. And other than a lot of indigestion, it worked really good. And I got rid because I looked like someone had been beating my arms with sticks. It wasn't Plavix, though. It was. Yeah, it was something else. Uh, it was like a, I can't remember. Anyway, so now but someone like, out here, who was it who recommended the other stuff that I'm on now? Uh, what the heck? Reb4679, yeah. which I have not seen on here again since then. I wish that he would pop on and refresh my memory. I think I got the right stuff, but I looked all over for the comment in the last, you know, six months worth of lives. And I cannot for the life of me find it, but I think I got the right stuff. It's Nat Nata Kanasi. Yeah. I believe. So Ronald Sova says he doesn't like going to the doctor. He's always looking for something wrong with him. Yeah. With me it's easy hey, to find. Dan. Jane hey, says, Lieutenant Dan. Jane says they made a lot of money up here pushing a certain job. Lots yeah. of money. True that. I'm actually having a lumbar spine lumbar? surgery. On May 10th to take care of a sum. Sciatica. Oh, yeah. Long standing. Dude, that's exactly what I have. And I'm using this. From a ruptured so disc. But this is to get me ready for my new full time RV life. We well, should, should get one of these machines. <laughs> if you could keep from having a. I'll tell you what, that having that blood clot removed was the most painful thing I've ever experienced yeah. in my life. And I mean, I've had, I've gone through some painful things, but it it, uh, it couldn't knock me out for some reason. And when, it felt like somebody had just taken my leg and set it on a barbecue grill that was just frying. And they and, and I was fighting with three guys. I, I was trying to get out of there. And finally, they couldn't get him to go under anesthetically. And the doctor probably said, look, if you don't lay still, you're going to die right here, right now. And there's nothing I'll be able to do for you. I, I've got to do this. And so I kind of put myself in a weird mode and and somehow I got my, got through it. In December, I said I went to the chiropractor. Then they put a catheter in. I thought that was worse. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. 
in December, I went to the chiropractor and I've only been to the chiropractor just a handful of times in my entire life, but I was in so much pain and I knew we had to go to court site and I was going to be standing on my feet. So he ran me through all the tests and x-rays and all that stuff. And I came back for a consult and he said, oh, well, you have this and you have that. And I have a compressed disc and I have one disc that's kind of cockeyed in my spine it's at the tail end of my my it's like right in the lumbar spot and um i have arthritis all up and down and there are days that it's really hard to just even get out of bed and stand at all but i put myself on this rife machine uh about 10 days ago well probably like three weeks ago now anyway well and, and me... it's helping me get through my days. Let me say, you lot. know what, Lieutenant Dan, I, the only reason why I'm saying that you should get one of these machines is maybe just to help with the pain and other things to kind of relieve it <coughs> and help and heal. I mean, if you're already all set up to do it. Yeah, it will and you help know what? heal quicker too after surgery. I have a friend who's not going to be around much longer and I've been trying to get him involved in this and he don't want any part of it. So I don't mention it to him anymore. But um, I just know what I have been going through with this leg, trying to get get back, and this polyp in my nose, going blind in my left <laughs> eye. <and> like this. <laughs> I had way too much fun as a young man. So anyway, I have all these things, and now it, what's amazing is is that I'm starting to heal up and starting to feel better, and I'm able to go. I before to just sit in the car and drive somewhere like we did today by the time i got back i could barely get out of the car and walk and uh it's getting better i used i could never wear my new shoes now i got new shoes i wear them all the time so oh. lieutenant dan it's called um spooky two spooky and the number two it's spooky squared um yeah. dot com go there <clears> and <throat> you can see what machines they have i got the gen x um essential gen x pro essential kit um to start with and, and the thing is is when you get the machine you got to have a computer you have to have a, a computer dedicated laptop dedicated to it but once you once you load the frequency into your dna in then you could be anywhere you're treated when you're going to walmart you're treated i don't understand how that part of it works she has more information on it because but your dna is connected to you even if you it's kind of like when you talk about phantom pain, somebody will lose their arm and they still feel the pain in it or their leg or whatever. It's phantom pain. It's because your DNA is still connected to your body. So Mark and I just did a deja vu together. I just what? don't understand how. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys and, and Mark, I'm with you, man. I, I have no idea. But you know what? Uh, sometimes we can be away and I'll, I'll have like something weird. I'll say, did you set that up on the? Oh yeah, I did that this morning because I could feel it. When she was when she was setting it up in the machine over here, and I I was sitting over here and I could feel all she was doing. It was yeah. crazy, and and but the thing is, is you can go to Europe and, and leave this thing running and you're it's still treating you. I don't know whether it's how it does it. I don't know whether it's not, but you know your DNA, you're the only one who has that DNA. Because your twin brother could have DA, because, DNA similar to you. But the, the, I, I think the atoms are connected. Even though you separate them, they're still part of one another, and they just can still talk to each other. So whatever's happening to that fingernail sample or blood sample or saliva sample, um, it's, it's going to still affect your body in a positive way with the positive frequencies that resonate with whatever's wrong in your body, be it bacteria, virus. Um, pathogens, anything that's wonky in your body, it's not supposed to be that way, it will attack those with the same frequency as those things resonate with, and then it just busts them up. Yeah, Jay Bray, Jay Bray, this is based on uh, like biblical stuff. It's, it's vibrations and frequencies. Frequencies are, are there are things that a lot of people don't want us to know about because if we 
if we know that we can go and sit down and program something into a computer and that machine over there will keep us feeling well and heal. I don't know how many people have heard of med vet beds, but med those bed. are med beds. That's like, that's what Feinstein was, is, was living off of. Now Pelosi still does all these old politicians and, and Hollywood actors. They're all involved in this stuff. And that's how they've been staying alive. You know, when you, when you go, when you, Get involved in that stuff. You kind of have to swear an oath to to something, and, they, and then they you start be receiving this stuff. And if you don't want to conform to them, then you oh well, you go live with the like we're all on Social Security, not them. They all have special plans, all this stuff. Well, one of the special plans is is this machine. It keeps us. It can keep us alive and keep Ronald, us healthy. Ronald Shaw says he had three blood clots, one in each yeah, leg behind I, the I knee. I read that. Yeah. One of the lungs been on blood thinner ever since. Yeah, it's it's no fun. I mean, he because he still tries to mechanic and stuff. And man, he, you know how it is. You bump something and you just you look awful. Yeah, let's awful. see what this stuff is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Mike. Those machines are expensive, but honestly, in the long run, let me get up here. Even with insurance, last year we spent about five thousand dollars out of pocket for our deductibles. This is one fifth of that that we've spent so far. I'm okay with that, especially because I know it's helping. That's that blood thinner, that replacement that I believe Reb4679 told me about. So there it is right there. That's the name of it. I think it does have cayenne pepper in it, though. It has black pepper in it. Black pepper in it. So I'm trying this, and seems to be having the same effect as far as I could tell. So, Mark... The, um, oh, Jane says she was supernaturally healed by chronic back pain and also my leg grew out an inch into the chiropractor for the last 10 years and doctors now. And that can happen too. I am, I'm definitely not discounting God in any of this. No, because that's what this is based on. Yeah. And, and, and I'm happy about that. I really am. Um, quantum entanglement. Exactly. Lieutenant Dan, that's what it's called. Uh, where was I? Based on God's frequency, it is totally in vibration and energy. The Schumann resonance, exactly. Solfeggio, love it all. I just love it all. Yes, Amanda, that is what that is. Who said I love it all? I did. Oh. Just now. Why based don't you? On, based on God's frequency. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's. Okay. It... Hi, Cookie. <laughs> Oh, cookies here, hey buddy. What did I happen into? <laughs> I'm on blood thinners as well. Well, what Bill just showed you is what we're we got him on instead of the pharmaceutical blood thinners. So, so it's let's see, I, got, I have no idea how to say it. Well, it's Nat talk. Nato Kanasi, I believe, but I could be saying it wrong. That's that's what I'm taking. What of what of our uh, people that come on on our lives? turned me on to that yeah. and i had uh i was taking cayenne pepper for a long time and it kind of gets to your your tummy a little bit especially on an empty stomach i, I learned man you got to at least have french toast or something <laughs> anyway <laughs> good reason to eat french toast <laughs> anyway uh nato kinase is that right amanda that's not no it's got two t's I have to take Lovenox because of interaction. Okay, I, I am going to spell this. It's N A T T O K I N A S E. Caitlin and Joan. And we will from be Texas. we will be <laughs> giving a test on that later. Made from fermented soybean, exactly. It's fermented though, so it doesn't have like the soy effects that. Oh, you mean I'm not going to grow boobs? Yeah, you will. Soy, soy. Oh. Bill's going to become a soy boy. A soy boy. <laughs> now you all know. <laughs> oh, look at Mellow Cat. She messed all my spelling up. <laughs> Greetings from rainy Southern California. Hey, Will and Wendy. Welcome. The peptics. You stopped taking. Yeah. The doctor said he could. So we just figured we'd do something on top to make sure that it just doesn't become a problem again. 
Yeah, and then he's taking breaks when he drives. And then for people taking statins. Yeah, and this was the we take red wine. Red wine capsules. Our doctor said you guys both need to be on statins. Well, yeah, because the uh, American Medical bigger. Association <laughs> has said anyone over the age of 40 or 45 needs to be on statins, whether they have high cholesterol or not. They want everybody on statins. So. She said, my husband and I do have high cholesterol. We do not take statins. We will not take statins. I said, well, what do you take? And she said, we take red wine capsules. Yep. So, and Bill said, well, can I just have a glass of lunch? She said, well, that would probably work too, but we just take the capsules. <laughs> so we have blood work we have to get done again, you know, see how his A1C is doing and whatnot. So. Yeah, and we got we got diabetes. I've actually had a problem since we've been running this diabetes thing of my sugar being too low. So I have to eat more cookies. I can't take statins. We can't either. We tried when they first told us we needed to take them. And I ached so bad. And then and I had this thing growing on my forehead. He heart. kept taking them, and he's like, I, don't, I quit. I, after a week, I was like, I'm done. I can't do this. And he took them for a, about a month, and then he kept saying, "Man, I hurt so bad." I go, "Yeah, because you're taking that and stop it." So he did, and within it, like three days, you were back to okay again. So. Oh, well, when it I raises your blood sugar, really? When I didn't know that when Darla was in the pharmacy getting my blood thinners for the very first time. I was in the parking lot that was in quartzite and this lady came up and was talking about cage and I told her, well, my wife said they're getting me some blood thinners and oh, she goes, those killed my husband. Yeah. And she just went all on about it, how he had some kind of internal bleeding and, mm -hmm. and he kept going back to the doctor and he never could find it. And all of a sudden one day he died. They, she paid for an autopsy or something. She found out that it was from the, yeah. the blood thinners. So. Charlie Porch is here. Hey, Charlie. There we go. Mellow Cat says people doing keto also take that <clears throat> or eat natto, which is what natto kinase is made from. Interesting. Okay. So cookies type one diabetic. Yeah. Well, I'm type. Really happy I'm food. type two, but I take insulin. And it would... Also, let me just say before we get off the subject of diabetes, you know when you take statins, it develops like Alzheimer's and dementia, and you know what they call that now? Diabetes three. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good for hiding your own Easter eggs, though. Yeah. Okay. It's one of the side effects of statins. Yeah. Well. We just drink the wine, listen, <laughs> John said. <laughs> the 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 thing. The thing is, is with all of this, you know, of course, everybody's been programmed and convinced that this this medical thing is the only way to go and medical conditions. But we got we have a lot of people dying right now. Um, there might have there was probably, a, I think, a peak where they were people were living longer and people were being saved a lot and stuff like that. But I, I think those days of it's starting to revert back. I just think that it's the, the standards that they, that the doctors have to meet anymore is much lower. And the doctors are normally really overwhelmed with patients. Yeah. And uh, well, I just don't think we, you know, when we were kids, we had a place called Gallatin Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And at one time, I got I got a really nasty cut on me. And I went there, and it was like $22. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, it, of course, that was that was like $150 now. But I, way more affordable it was still, it was more than affordable than now. It would be $10,000. So it's just crazy what they get away well, that with. that was without insurance. Diet is a big factor. Yeah. Cayenne pepper on an empty stomach is a no-no. <laughs> Unless you chase yes, them with, with uh, some jalapenos. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, red wine capsules. That's, I got those off Amazon. 
stop the junk food. Yep. My doctor said, no, I don't have high blood pressure, so no visit for a year. That's lucky, Jason. I remember you said I wonder that. if Dougie D's here. Maybe he could tell you about how his uh, Medicare is buying of bicycles and all this stuff. <laughs> It's crazy what he, they're doing. He's got Aetna. He's on Medicare. So they, they've got a program where if you get outside, they'll give you money to like buy hiking shoes or bikes or tents or Julio's anything here. that'll get you outside. Hey, Julio. Late to the game. Late to the game. Clopita Girl? I think that's what it was. Clopita Girl that he was on. In fact, it was. Right. For sure. I don't know what anything was. I just... I just have a hard time swallowing. Or sour cream either. what, Amanda? What I miss? It's making a potato or something. Insurance is the driver of current patient care or care less. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what at the Medicare, but through the state of New Jersey. Yeah. And, you know, I haven't had chips in a few years, Jason says. Well, we got to get you back over to Trace Agaves and get some. He hasn't had chips. Ch chips in a few years. He just had them a week ago or something. I don't know that he was eating them. I was he? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, it's too bad because I just made a batch of salsa. <laughs> Jetterect for Plavix. So here's the one for the. Red wine capsules, and it's never really good on the screen. Yeah, I can see it good. But like I said, I got those off of eh, I can see Amazon. It. Yeah. And then anyway, I take I take vitamins really for my eye. It seems to be getting a little better. Well, Definitely I've also got you on a re uh, frequency for diabetic retinopathy. <clears throat> yeah, Dougie, tell them how you get how you get free bicycles oh, on Doritos, Medicare. Doritos, that's right, that's right. I remember he said that. He has not had Doritos. In how about taquitos? Yeah, bring some. True, Aetna insurance. He's gonna go by R Roberto's and get us some taquitos. That'd be Pepsi. awesome. That'd be awesome. Um, oh, chase the cayenne with sour cream. Got you, Amanda. I get 1200 this year for camping and exercise. And so does his wife. Yeah. It was Clopita Grill, Mark, and it Easy is for generic you, for Plavix. You're right. And they're so expensive. You have to have generic. I started drinking two quarts of water a day with half teaspoon baking soda to get my blood pH balanced. That's good. So Too much I've had really bad heartburn, and <laughs> like I mean, so much so that I've gone for days not eating, honestly, because I just I'm afraid to eat anything because I know it's going to hurt, and that's not good. Um, even water, it's it's that kind of acid reflux, whatever. So I put a frequency on there for acid reflux and one for sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, which is what I was using occasionally to try to help me get through the really tough days when I had such terrible, I should say, days and nights because it was really bad at night, too. And, and Julio wants to know red wine replaces statins. Yes. Go ahead. I have not had an issue with heartburn since I did that, and it's been almost a week. So, yeah, I, I think it's worth I think it's worth the $1,100 we paid for that machine. Definitely do. Who are the peptic stocking to? We will be there in about 10 days. Where are they going? San Francisco or what? What are they talking about here? I think they're talking about here. Hey, Lonely Hitchhiker Kent. I'm glad you got to make it too. <laughs> Lynn and Joan. Oh, yummy. We'll bring the chips. <laughs> yeah. Anything to do with exercise? I did it because of heartburn and have not had heartburn ever since. Yep, Jane. But, it, you know, again, back to these rice machines, and it's R-I-F-E, if you're going to look into it, Spooky2, Spooky, the number two, no space, dot com. Um, the machines have ibuprofen. They've got <clears throat> frequencies for 
any kind of pharmaceuticals and, and the benefits of what they will bring to your body to resonate with whatever's going on in your body. And your body only is going to take what it needs. It's not going to OD on it. So I had an uh, ibuprofen for him a couple days ago. Um, and then the baking soda for me. Um, yeah, I, I just, I'm all about it right now. I, I, until it proves otherwise, I'm, I'm all about it. I was showing you my arms, Mark. Hey, Ron, uh, Ron, I bought a shot right now. It's what, 1400 which I should look that up. But it's, it's like 1400 a month. And the far there, I'm being a guinea pig for that. And I'm thinking about stopping. Right, it's right. for this, it's for my polyp in my nose. But I've been on a frequency for what, about a week now? Yeah. And it's been getting better. So I, I was all, my my right side was just totally packed, impacted. It's, it's not an overnight miracle. I mean, it took no. years to get some of the conditions we suffer from. So it's going to take some time, understandably, to get things better or, you know, <laughs> at least says better. Ford site. You're coming here. Better come see us because we're going to be leaving before. Well, we got about a month and we're out of here. Cookie says, I used to take Prilosec, but now they have me on Protonic, which is an ACE inhibitor. And I know you're not supposed to take those for a very long time. Our son was on it for 10 years and then he went keto. And now he doesn't have heartburn, but I don't know how long a person can be on keto, not keto, um, carniv carnivore. No, he went keto. He went keto. You know, I mean, I would, I would suggest, uh, kind of what I did is I started taking the cayenne pepper and, and then kind of got that going in my system. And then I started backing off and I, because I knew I was running out of the, the uh blood thinners and then i just never took them again so mark says i'm looking at my bruise covered arms now. yeah i showed him mine yeah, 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 yeah. And i actually got a boo-boo right there today i was underneath like working on my stairs but skin kind of boo -boo. but That's usually not. what i did today i would have looked like you're like talking about yeah. yeah well, well that's not says, that's not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> taking Zerilco, 848 dollars a month Pharmacist gave me a phone number to call. And now I'm getting it for ten months. Should he told yeah. me that a year ago, right? No, you just kind of limp along. <laughs> Doug and Helen and from Wendy and Will. There you go. Doug, how do you get twelve hundred yeah, Doug a year for capping and exercising? My arms look like I'm a junkie from all the bruises and from the blood thinners. It's, it's terrible. You tell them you're voting for Biden. <laughs> May, May yeah. on the run said Cookie, look into Watchmen. My arms look like I'm a junkie from a holocaust. Maybe we have to sidetrack to Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. Who said that? Testing. Oh, uh, yeah. Depends on your lab. My dad had it put in and we... And he never has had to take them again. It's a tiny implant. That's right. I remember you told me that. Anyway, collagen is good for the skin. Yep. But I don't know if it would help with being on blood thinners. Some people go carnivore like elimination diet so you can tell what foods trigger inflammation. That's true. I don't have ACIB. They found a blood clot in my lung. Yeah, that seems to be happening a lot more, too, lately from people we've heard. Hey, Brad's here. Hey, Brad and Diana. The happy birthday guy. That's right. It was his birthday yesterday. It happy was a couple of days birthday ago. birthday in person, kind of. Story, yeah. Brad. <laughs> Getting old is fun. <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> yeah, it's fun like uh, being involved in a trade wreck. Uh, yeah. Not as yeah. much fun as a train yeah. wreck. I used to tell my girls that all the time. Then we were watching a show about train wrecks, and they, yeah, train wrecks are not fun. <laughs> my poor kids never knew what to think when he'd talk. So the Peptics will be here in ten days. Ten days. So we'll have a we'll have a. <laughs> 
maybe a parade and a light band and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. We've had the Tigners here. Today we had Mary, or yesterday we had Mary and Randy. <clears throat> Mary and Randy were gate guards with us in May on the Run when we were in Colorado last year. So. Well, you know, one thing about... Hi, Maddie! <laughs> All right, Maddie here. Uh, sinus infection. Just send me a fingernail. <laughs> That's no fun, Maddie. We're talking about how to get over these things that plague us. We're hey, doing... Baxley, Ultra Beats the Alternative. Zarelto, not... Okay, got you. Got you, Ronald. And by the way, if after this video we're off of YouTube, it won't be because we want to be, okay? Just so you know. Never know anymore, well, huh? We could be committing YouTube suicide. Yeah, can't say that oh, word. We could become committing YouTube on a live. Carry carry or something. Is that what they call it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Why does the DNA sample only last a short time? Because your DNA, when it's disconnected from your body, it will die off. It will eventually The nails off. last about two weeks, though, right? They last four or five weeks. Really? Yeah. Blood and saliva only last until it dries out. But they've got a little uh, compartment that you put in your DNA. So they've got a remote for fingernails. Um, and then they've also got a sample digitizer is what they call it. It looks very much like the remote for the fingernail for fluids. Like, and you can use urine too. But again, and you can do this for your pets, which I think is fantastic. We, we uh, want to. Yeah, do we're that not doctors, and we don't know a lot of Disclaimer. stuff. We're just telling you what we're doing. And if you guys have questions about that, because after Amanda. Amanda's our uh, legal advisor. Yeah, Thank you, Amanda. Everyone be sure to hit that thumbs up while you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, the conversation is going so many directions. <laughs> That's our payment plan. You guys want to, we had a guy last week who wanted to donate to us. And that was really a nice thing. But I, my idea is if you want to donate to us, subscribe and and give us a like. That's all we ask. We're not, we're not looking for people to give us money. We, we, we want to try to make, society better, help people out, give people knowledge. And, and I mean, one thing about it is you may talk to someone else that says, oh, I didn't do anything for me or whatever, whatever. Then you have and to make up your own decision. Let me have their number because I'd like to yeah. buy their machine. Yeah. <laughs> let, because, you know, let us have, let us give you the knowledge because we have been, we are faithfully doing this. And we've, I've been doing it the longest, what, about three weeks now? Yeah, I'd say that. Now, I was going to say, on my sugar That's diabetes, so I have to be real careful with this machine because what's been happening is, is if I don't have something a little bit sweet, sweet, bad, glucose. I wake up in the middle of the night, my sugar is 65, you know, and uh, it, it's just going too low. So I'm having to be, and, and the thing was, my last A1C was real high, but that was before I got started on this and yeah. I just... I wasn't feeling right. Well, I'm able to actually bring, I'm, I'm averaging about 80, 80 to 85 is my, or actually 75 to 85, I would say is my average on my sugar now. And sometimes it drops below that. When it does, I'll wake up and I'll be shaking and, and, yeah. and my eyesight gets all Which weird. And, and, uh, and I, I come out here and I'll usually just, now I've gotten to the point where I just, I'll test right away and see what it is. And if it's like 80 or something like that, then I'll just just sit here for a little while and try to relax. And, and then I'll usually be able to go back in and lay down and go to sleep. But if it's down like 70 or below, then I'm going to take a, I get a orange juice, a glass of orange juice to do that. Seymour Rivers. Hello from yeah. Tennessee. And Taylor Rose. Hi. Yeah. I heard a test that they use of hair follicles so you can send a few strands in. I've heard that too. And actually one of our daughters had that done. Um, we should have somebody send us. Too. Somebody should, we should have someone mail us 
some fingernails and, and write down what they're experiencing. And we'll just do a little test right. and see what we'll, uh, we got to get layouts first. <laughs> we're, we're almost the answer. Or this, just get another generator. I yeah. We we'll just have to buy, we could buy another anything. generator. Um, yeah. If anybody is curious or interested in doing that, email us and let us know. Um, my sugar will run 400 to 20. It's a roller coaster here lately. I keep gummy bears close by. Yeah. I think the highest I've been is about 150 since I this thing has been running, and that was actually yesterday. And I ate half a cup, half a can of toffee peanuts. I had a piece of pie, <laughs> and macaroni the guy, salad. The and, guy has no self control. Yeah. Well, I like when it that. comes to sweet. When I was in YFCA, I loved those peanuts, man. They were so good. And I was just brought back memories of my childhood. Y and I thought I was a little kid. Oh, it's Y. Some, I don't know. Y. Yeah, 400 to 20. See, when I found out I was a diabetic, I was 444 that day. Yeah. Anywho. I had paramedic tested me. He came over to my shop. He, he, he had talked to me, and I told yeah, I just feel kind of weird all the time. And he goes, oh, yeah. He goes, well, I'll bring a tester or we'll test your sugar and see well, if you have diabetes. Well, on top of that, he lost like 55 pounds yeah. at that time. So he like, came over. Month, he tested me. He goes, month, you need to get to the that doctor. That his phone, in case you're wondering. I farted. That's what it was. It's text signal. It's probably, let's see who it is. Probably Doug. <laughs> no, I got a video, some video. Yeah, but they can tell a lot with your DNA when they test those hair follicles, too. And they say on these rice machines you can use hair as long as you get the follicle, but that's painful. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and then it's only good for like two weeks. So I, I prefer the fingernail. Most people do. And there's tons of Facebook groups that I follow. That they've got really helpful moderators, and they've got um, people that have these and are learning them right along with you, and they have learned things that I haven't learned yet. And so we compare notes back and forth and it's been good. Well, if I wasn't, if I wasn't losing weight and always had a dry mouth, I wouldn't have thought anything was wrong. Cookie. Yeah. I saw uh, that 640. 640. And uh, I would have never thought anything was really wrong because I had kind of been rolling, but my parents were both diabetic. So Dougie, it will only change the color of your hair. Just you. No one else. <laughs> Dougie looks like Adam the Woo. He does. If you he know who Adam that. the Woo is, that's what Dougie looks he's like. But he's an older version. <laughs> <laughs> a lot older. No. Um Yeah. So Yeah, well, hey Cookie, if you want to be a, a test dummy. test uh <laughs> no, pig. Yeah, you want to be a test dummy. <laughs> Trim some mails and contact us at Economic Refugees RV, and we'll give you an address to mail them to. And we'll put them in the machine or run here and see if it, because we could do it from here. That's what's so okay. weird. Yeah, we, no charge. We'll just give it a. We'll, right now, I got to say, I'm so fascinated by this whole thing. And I thought you were so going to say me. <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. That okay. too. Having so much fun with it. <laughs> I, I look forward to getting up in the morning and seeing how I feel, seeing how Bill feels and seeing what other frequencies I can put in there and, and take out and, you know, peek it and tweak it. So. Yeah. And Hey Doug, if you want to try it, send us some nails and we'll see if we can get you to be not crazy. It even has <laughs> frequencies for ADD, ADHD, OCD, any, you know, killing ants. Killing ants. Yeah. But I mean, killing um, your dog, any, any kind of, Mental despondency, I, so many things. It's got over sixty thousand frequencies. And the uh, what did it, it do? It modified it, it modified your you. DNA. Yeah, but you can do a detox on here too. Right, you could actually. Lyme disease is a big one. Out. People buy these machines for is to detox from Lyme disease. We need disease. to do Paul. I know. I See that the thing is is. Even if you don't have anything wrong with you, you could go through this thing and do a detox. Yes. Yeah. And, and then do it. And, and then what the happens world. is it, it's better if you're here, but she's got little things that she puts Test on my tabs. sides. And then she does another 
like a, a scan and then all of a sudden whoop, it loads all the frequencies in and then she turns it loose. That'd be interesting. I'm on so much medication. There's no telling what it would show for me. Oh, I'm on chemo. So it is a weird mixture of things and the chemo actually lowers your glucose. Interesting. Well, if you ever want to try it, just let us know. I mean, uh, there's no pressure here. It would just be interesting to see if it uh, benefits in any If way. it would benefit you, and it might. You you don't know. I like mean, I said too, your body's only going to take whatever frequencies resonate with you know your DNA. It's not going to overdose. You can't you can't hurt yourself with it. Before this thing was running, I was running a minimum of a hundred maybe 120 and up to 250 on a daily basis, yeah. 120 to 250. And now I, like I say, I'm running from 75 to 85, which when I, when I go back and I do an A1C, I'm probably going to be seven. So um, after beta, I, I guess I was what, 10 last time or 11, so far here, almost 11. Let's see. We, we chew on a Mark. When you go to us, we put them in our mouth and chew on them. No, it it's a little it's a little deal over there, and it. So let me show you. So this is this picture right here. Let me see if I can blow it up there. This picture right here. You want to see if we get the camera over there? Is no, I got it here. Oh. This is the generator that I got, and these things here are the remotes. Okay, that's what you put your fingernail in. It's a little clamshell, and it just pops up and. You stick your um, DNA sample, whether it's, you know, your fingernail or hair follicle in that. It's a sticky piece of tape, paper tape. You put it in there and it just reads through the, um, this is this is called the booster, the metal thing right here. And then you plug it into the generator here. And this is for one person and this one's for a uh, second person. This is why I got this one. because. It's for two people. Um, and then, because we had the ant situation, I got the... Wait, uh, Cookie, we get them. It's, you go to Spooky 2, mm -hmm. and they're having a sale right now. What, 11% off? It's 9. 9% off? Mm -hmm. Right now? And uh, it takes... Well, they said it was going to take like three weeks. We got yeah, that first one. Yeah, I got it like five, four or five days. Yeah. This little blue box here, that's the second generator that we got. And it's for one person. So, or one dog or one. Ant. One <laughs> ant, right. So, and it's, that's what it's we're killing lot, ants with. That it's one. a lot less expensive. That was shipping About and everything was bucks. $200. So, I mean, you could get started with that. And it's everything, you know, that you need to, to at least get started to how, see if you even like it. Cookie, how can your your sugar be so high and your A1C is 6.1 or 6.2? I don't think it is now. She's, is Cookie a, yeah, a girl? Yeah. No, it's a guy. Guy, guy. I told he, you the story. You can't say it out here. Okay. He said glucose level uh, when he was diagnosed in 2006 was 640. Yeah, Mark, she has to go around with this little thing and, and capture these ants. I do. I take it's the getting little, hard to catch them, though, I now. I take the little there's... sticky. It's just a little round label, really, but it's a paper label, and it, it's sticky on the one side. It's the label. And then I just go along the wall or the counter, and I snag them wherever. It was easy, you know, a week ago. Today, it's not so easy. Yeah. It's hard to find them. That's okay with me. I was coming out in the morning to 30 or 40 ants. Yeah. And they're and, not after food. These ants are not after food. I don't know what they're after. Creamer. They do like the coffee, coffee creamer. creamer. I will say that. Carnation coffee creamer. Yes, they but put I, an ant in it. About, or an uncle. Correct, Amanda. Yeah. Put like three or four. Uh, well, what was the question? I forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they do come with it. Yep. All right, Terry. Talk to you later. Tell uh, Wes we said hello. We're way over time. We're nine no. minutes over. Last week we were over half an hour. I don't average that high, but 
we'll go to like we'll go to we'll go another no 20 minutes so we'll, that'll be it hey sunny day pearl welcome back what Thank what you. doug i think you asked a question and he said bill Later, I've got to go. Okay, he's gone. Do these come with it? Yes. The stickers, yes. Yeah, you get everything. They give you several sheets of them. And then if you run out of those, all you need is a paper sticker. It has to be paper. It can't be plastic or metallic. Um, you can make colloidal silver with this machine. You can imprint little um, holographic stickers and wear stickers or send them to people, you know, in your family or friends or whatever, and it will... I know it just sounds now the two the more I know the less believable it sounds but I know what it's doing so the two people machine comes with the deals where you can put them in water like for my right. foot for contact you can do this contact remote plasma or there's one other one I forget what it is but the contact of course is going to be the tens pads or the um they give you stainless steel um I forget what they call them two they're just tubes and you can use it with that. Oh, there's also PEMF if you know that, if you're familiar with that term. It's um, pulse electromagnetic field, which is supposed to be a stronger um, vibration or frequency strength than just remote. So. You just bought that trailer right now while you were watching us? Yeah, Dimatius Earth, you could use that here too, but the trouble is it does rain a lot here. So Yeah, it washes away. It washes away. I actually put cornmeal out because I read that was good too, and then it rained. <laughs> so, which, I mean, the cornmeal's still there, but it's just all swollen up now, and they're just not interested. Jay, did you have, you had like a travel trailer, right? Just got a hair soap commercial. <laughs> Wow, you missed all the fun, all the excitement. Has anyone ever tried those hair soap commercial or you know products? I've been looking yeah. at those. They're really pricey though. Text Jay about the bugs. Oh, that's right. But I don't want to use chemicals, so but he'll he'll know other things too, right, May? Yeah, the trouble is is that uh the chemicals are kinda harsh, so and they're getting like it's also Maddie. <laughs> It, it's getting rid of them. So uh, I'm looking at the Spookachu portable starter kit for 345. I haven't. I don't. I've seen that one, but I don't remember what it, what's in it. <laughs> Jane Bray husband may never see me again. Let's see. I want to. I want to go there and see. Which one you're looking at? We can see portable. I'll be right back. Kit. I gotta go check portable some. Portable star kit. What are you doing over here all by yourself? Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? I don't know. That's. Yeah, okay. I can also tell you guys that sometimes you can find these used online, um, Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. But every moderator that's on any one of these Facebook groups cautions you to only pay through PayPal. Only pay through PayPal because people are out there scamming. So that portable one, that, that would be a good, um, a good thing to get started with too i think in my opinion and it's kind of like the gateway drug because then they say oh yeah you're going to want to you're going to want to get more stuff and that's already happened with me because i wanted to get rid of these darn ants <laughs> so. and right now i'd like to get another um xm generator that blue one i showed you for Cage, I'd like to start something for him. But people will get these, and I'm not going to lie to you, there is a learning curve to it, and it can get really frustrating sometimes. 
but there's always somebody you can talk to that's going to answer your question online, even in the chat. But they are China, so if you're up around 11 or 12 at night, somebody will answer you immediately on the chat on SpookyQ.com. If not, just get on one of the Facebook groups and ask your question, and they'll, they'll answer you within an hour or two, usually, I have found. But I think people get them, and they're just like, this is too much for me, and they put them back in the box, and that's, that's it. And then when they go to move, they're like, I need to get rid of this thing, and so they'll sell them. Sunday Pearl, we have tried all kinds of stuff like that it, with the with the borax soap and all that, and it it it, it just hasn't hasn't done the not, trick. Not not so. These ants that we have, they're called crazy ants. If you look them up, the Google says what they like is electrical stuff, which is really scary in a motorhome. You don't want that going on in your RV because they'll eat wires and. They're, they're, they they really, I can say they won't bite you. They do bite if you mess with them too much, but who's going to do that anyway? Um, but And they're typically not after your food, typically. They do like those creamer, Cremora, Coffee Mate, whatever, you know, the powder stuff. Somehow they get in that thing. I don't know how <laughs> yeah, they get in Yeah, I don't there. know either. But they're, and, and they dart. Like, they don't go in a straight track like what you see normal ants do. They're just everywhere, and they change so fast. When you come out here, you flip the light on, man, and it's like... They scatter like roaches. Yeah, they Bad. just go crazy, so... They like dark places. I call them the, the devil ants. And then, like the and then they get they get on you, and, you know, it's just, it's crazy, but, like... Right now, usually I'd be sitting here and I'll get one every once in a while crawling on me. But I haven't had that problem for a while yeah, here, so I don't know. It's a good thing. I hate it. That time we had them in bed one night and they were biting us, remember? I thought, yeah, because well, we were We got up and we both got up. <laughs> well, we're done sleeping and That's we had to go. That's the thing, too. I mean, well, anyway. It's, it's, it's like when you're camping and you feel like stuff's crawling on you all the time. You're out in a tent or something. Only we're in our RV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, too, uh, let's see. If anybody's interested, we still have about three or four places for fireworks. Huh? Oh, can't say it. <laughs> for aerial lighting. <laughs> anyway. We, uh, you can't say that on Facebook. We've we said it, it on here. It works on anything that you have DNA samples in there. You catch a ladybug and stick it in the, the label and stick it in the, the remote attached to the machine and it will work on them. Are you talking about those Asian beetles? <laughs> Same mm -hmm. thing. Whatever it happens to be. And, and you do, they call it a, um. Yes, we do, Mark. What do they call that? I'd have to go over and look at its machine. But anyway, it's a sweep. Um, that's what they call it. And it runs a range of frequencies that will resonate with those critters, whatever they are, and their DNA, and they don't like it, so they leave. Or they'll die. Yep. So real quick here, if, if anybody's interested, we still have locations in Illinois and Indiana. And most of them are only going to be 30 days. We have... We have one in Warren, Indiana, that is the 15th of May till the September 10th. And we have uh, one in Illinois that's from May 20th to September 8th. And uh, we have two tents left, which are 30 days, and two stores that are 30 days. No, well, one store that's 30 days. So if you guys are interested in that, all you have to do is contact us at Economic Refugees RV or G at Gmail RV at Gmail. Economic Refugees RV at Gmail. Dot com, and uh, just give us uh, either your email or a phone number, and, or we'll send you my phone number, and uh, we'll talk about it and get you uh, set to go. Starting to run out of time. I am going to do this week. <laughs> I'm going to do a everybody video. We haven't done that yet. Um, we're just going to turn it loose on YouTube. Uh, 
we've been just trying to to uh, do it through the uh, here with the uh, live. But uh, I think if we do an actual video, we'll get a lot more response. So. Let me cover a couple of these comments. Did you talk Sunny Day Pearl about the water sugar and borax? Yes, I, yeah, I, I, I told her we try, we've tried. we tried that before. And I again, with those crazy ants, I looked it up, and that's, they're just not interested in that. They, they like they dog even, food, too. They do like, it's oil, like oil and electronic thing. Anyway, I think that's why they like the creamer. Uh, we have a brand new Taylor coach travel trailer, but have Hebby's brother with us now full time, so I need my own girl cave, James said. You go, girl. <laughs> And a brand new diesel pickup to pull it. No. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, I have an 11 year old German Shepherd point, German short haired pointer with arthritis who might benefit from one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I, I joined that one too. Um, Facebook has a spooky two pet um, group. And I mean, you can join those and ask your questions of these people, even though you don't have. A rife machine, you know, they're happy to talk to you about their experiences and stuff. One thing they won't do is they will not recommend a frequency for you. They'll tell you what you can look under if, you know, you explain a problem that you're having, whether it be for you or an animal or a friend or whatever. Um, they will not recommend, they're very careful not to recommend a specific frequency for you, but they'll tell you what direction to look in and then you, you choose your own. Yeah. And as we go along, we're, we're thinking about maybe setting something up where we could correspond with people and kind of help them with this. So, but we, we're trying to get educated ourselves and you're basically talking to guinea pigs and crash them. So it's a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it don't cost, don't cost money yeah, with us yeah. unless you buy a machine okay. and you can use, you can use YouTube. To try it on yourself, but you gotta you gotta sit there for fifteen or twenty minutes. Some of those things are eight hours, but oh, the, the frequency yeah, and duration. you gotta listen to the frequency. So, the ones on YouTube, yeah, true. So the difference is, is with this, you've got the machine that actually chases you around wherever you're at, and it's silent. And it's silent. You don't. I mean, it's running right now. There, there's multiple, probably eight frequencies running right now. James said a book dissolving illusions is a good book about the farm I the way she did yeah. the pharmaceutical industry. Yeah. And it's so true. It's so corrupt. Isn't everything. Anyway. Well, it's We we appreciate that you guys let us talk about this. Yeah. And I, if 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 you guys learned something and, yeah. and you think it's you think it's a good thing. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to go down this road a little bit tonight and see how what the reaction with people is. Um, I'll tell you what, if you want to just, if you think it's a good thing and you want to hear more, then just type a one. If you're not, if you're not into it, you'd rather just put it aside and type two. And then we'll know, we'll, we'll count, we'll, we'll look and watch and see how many we have. And then that way we'll know whether we're headed down a good track here we're not going to do it no you know always every time the whole time or anything but you know sometimes see you, you you go down something like this something that we're interested in and we're trying to do this to keep uh you know keep us healthy and if we can pass it on if if you know i mean if the day comes where i'm able to run down the street then that's going to be uh-oh, too. Phil doesn't want um, to hear it. Let me answer a couple questions. Yeah. Mark, yes, I have both of them plugged into my laptop right now, the dedicated laptop. So we had a laptop, and it went to black screen. Now, we took it in and got it fixed and just had it emptied out of everything. We weren't using it anyway because I couldn't get back on it. And the guy fixed it so that now all I run is that software hey, on it, and that's it. So... Yeah, I do have I do have two ports where I can plug in both those generators that I've got running right now, the one that's, you know, the Gen X and the X, uh, XM. But when you get to where, which is where I'm at now, <laughs> where you want to run more than what you've got ports for, they have a hub for thirty dollars, and you can plug in, I think, up to ten. So, and there are people I've seen on Facebook, and they've got twenty of these generators. But then there are people that, in the states. 
and I don't know how they're getting away with this because it's supposed to be not allowed, but they will run this uh, program for people and they're like health coaches and whatever, stuff like that, trying to get people back on track and get them healthy again. And I, there's this one guy, his name's Brad Johnson and he's on spooky two on YouTube and he'll do tutorials, you know, and teach you how to do different things on these machines. And he's got a whole, he's got 62 clients right now that he is rifing in addition to other things that he's helping them with, with their health. So I don't know. I think it's pretty fascinating. And people are, they love him. They're, they're getting great help from him. Well, plus the way we found out about all this is I, I was tired of not being yeah. able to function. And we were trying anything. And, and we everything. found a place over here in uh, Conway, Arkansas. And it was like a clinic thing. And we went and went to their thing. And they were like, uh, you talk about a sham. Well, wow. <laughs> um, what, what is it? It's like a timeshare? That's yeah. what it felt like too. And, but they, they had a folder sitting on the counter and the doctor said, okay, well, I want you to watch two of the, the doctor, whatever he was. <laughs> anyway, he, he had us watch two videos and while he was gone, we were looking through the file and there was, one of these machines it wasn't exactly by this company it was probably a much higher dollar one and i really don't know why because this is just as powerful if you look at the different machines available but that one was nine thousand dollars yeah well because that's <laughs> what they wanted they wanted to charge us nine grand so i said well can we think about this and can we have that folder and he's like oh absolutely so they gave us the folder but it didn't have the machine in it it didn't have the picture of the machine that they used in it so I don't know what they were using, but it was a, it was a frequency. But through machine. a process of elimination yeah. and talking to a friend of mine, yeah. and he said, "Oh, spooky too." I mean, <laughs> he 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 popped it right out. Yeah. And uh, he's an interesting guy, so he. Uh, <laughs> Jason. Yeah. We have, we <laughs> and Phil, I'm surprised Phil said to. You. Um, Cookie's looking at getting one. Yes, Lynn and Joan, we did put several ants because i'm finding i'm finding big ones and little ones um and i just don't know if they're from the same Night cookie. crazy ant family or not so i whatever i'm finding i'm just sticking in there so yeah caught a fly today too he's in there <laughs> yeah so yes and yeah yeah, night cookie. You gotta say night cookie. Night cookie. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna start winding down. And you're welcome, Dan. We're happy to share. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did you put them in there alive or dead? So with the ants, and I I always feel cruel doing this, but you know they were crawling under my pillow, so I don't feel too bad. Anyways, I just take the sticker and I I dab them when there were many more than I'm able to find now. And then I, I smash them with my fist. I kind of tap them on there and I don't know if they're dead then or not, but then I just hold over the thing and I squish them. So they're dead. What did I miss? Why is everyone what? Oh, Jane. <laughs> so we were just asking if you'd like for us to periodically talk about this topic that we've been talking about, please give us the one. And if you're really not interested, so much than just put we just want to know what people think about it general consensus of what we should talk about because we we're trying to find to something really irritating yeah no we're, we're, we're gonna have to try harder uh, <laughs> we're we're basically a rv work camper type video channel homesteaders yet yeah we, yeah garden down garden road. aficionados <laughs> <laughs> we grow dirt we can grow green country. grass on top of our <laughs> garden out there uh, on the rock but good night, night Rosebud. Rosebud. good night dan use critical thinking for proven medical results yes Phil. yeah and uh but also you know like i say the big it's helping you can so. go right now tonight and you could go type in put, put hit your little search deal on youtube on YouTube, and if you have a runny nose or whatever, type it in there and see if they have a frequency on there. There's over 50,000 frequencies, 60,000. 60, the thing is, is it's going to be like, uh, it's going to be like cough syrup as opposed to throat surgery. I mean, what we're doing here is, is a lot, lot Less more invasive. intense. 
but it's very it's very non-invasive yeah. i mean although sometimes i've had to have her turn it off <laughs> jay says you need to talk about garlic more yeah I wonder if there's a frequency for garlic. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> well, well, when you first started doing, I had to, you had to turn it right off there. one time. It was, got me so bad. I was just like, and you'll find out that your poopies change and everything else. I mean, you'll you'll notice different things in your whole your body. Your body, because I mean, you got to realize every time you go to the store and you buy a package of meat or potato chips or something. There's all kinds of things in there designed to change your physical. There's just no doubt Wait, about it. We don't breed. eat natural food anymore. There's just toxins in the world, period, just in everyday life. You get, you know, exhaust from automobiles, especially if you live in a big city, you know. There is a thing for ED. Environment. I tried it. All it did was make me taller. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Environmental toxins, I would say, Mark. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we should try Mellow Cat's workout moving drywall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, too fun, you guys. All, All right. right. All right, guys. We Thank you, you for staying an extra half hour longer to indulge us in our conversation. Yeah. And uh, appreciate you guys being here. Have a great night. Okay. Have a good week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.